Well, it's one of the most common and frustrating crimes in San Francisco. You walk out, you find your car window has been smashed and stuff is missing. CBSN Bay Area anchor Emily Turner on a new idea to reimburse some people who have become victims. Emily? Well, almost everybody can has a story or several of them about the time they came back to their car to find their windows smashed. Last year, there were almost 24,000 car burglaries in the city. But if District Attorney Chase Boudin gets his way, it's only the SF residents who will get paid for their trouble. And not everybody is on board with that. It doesn't take long to see why San Francisco's property crime numbers are almost two and a half times the state average. Robberies happen within two to three minutes. So the new district attorney is now asking the city to help fix the problem, but not in the way you might think. Chase Boudin wants one and a half million taxpayer dollars to make SF car owners whole when their cars are broken into. This is a victim's first district attorney's office, and we want to put our money where our mouth is in San Francisco when it comes to supporting San Francisco victims of crime. The program would focus on SF residents only, not all cars broken into. So about 8,910 on average over the last two years, Boudin says. If you have insurance, you don't get paid. But you would receive the money if you have a deductible or no insurance at all, making the city the payer of last resort. It sounds like a pretty sweet deal to some. Yeah, it sounds good to me. <laughs> but not everyone is on board, especially critics of Chase Boudin himself. I think the DA needs to prosecute the people that are robbing the cars instead of letting them drive right back home again. I think that you're handing public money out because you refuse to stop the crime. A crime that goes without an arrest 99% of the time. Though Boudin says most of the cases they do have a suspect for are prosecuted. It's still an underwhelming rate, but he says they're working on it with police. And in the meantime, paying people back is a good place to start. We hope to hire San Francisco labor and San Francisco locally owned businesses to do the auto glass repair. So the money is going to stay right here in the community. We're going to have San Franciscans helping San Franciscans solve problems that we all know are facing our community. The DA's office estimates that nearly 9,000 city residents were the victims of car break-ins last year. In the newsroom, I'm Emily Turner.